What's going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here. Today I'm be doing a review on a device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. Oh, right. So, oh, okay. So here's the deal. All right, let me give you a little bit of a back brief. Everybody knows at this point that I love die codes, like with without a doubt. It's just something that I prefer over DNA, just because of how much volts I can output. On the pylon that I did a review on, a lot of people like to pull up a manual and tell me that I was wrong, read the manual. Uh, listen to me. You guys have to remember, I'm the same guy that's been pushing die codes for the past three fucking years. I know how to test power. So, what I did was, I went ahead and I got out my old fluke jammy. Right? Now, uh, so, I'm over here testing shit and I'm saying, I have to make a video showing the output power. It's not very difficult. What you wanna do, sorry about that, that might've got a little bit of loud and blurpy, but basically what you wanna do is you wanna get a dripper, put a high build in it, something like two ohms, three ohms, and then all you do is connect the negative to the positive, hit the fire button, it's that simple. Make sure you have it set to voltage, you'll be able to test it. I don't know if something is wrong with the pylon or something is wrong with the chip that is on the inside of it, but I can tell you that it only puts out about 6.1 volts. I don't know what that number is right there, 9.10. Um, okay, that's even more weird. So, th this is now picking up at a... What the fuck? A 4 point... A 2.66, 2.10, Okay, alright, we're just gonna sum this up as something is wrong with this mod. Because every time I press this button down, um, it... 8.15. Uh, I, I don't want to make it too much about that because we're going to be talking about the Danny today. I could make it about this, but I don't want to do that because I don't want to clog this up. Like, Die Codes USA didn't... I, I'm just... I'm here to teach you, you know, here to educate a little bit. It's not very difficult to figure out the, uh, the output power of any mod. Now, you can go a step further and uh, say, you know, it's about the chip, it's about this, but not only did I do that... I also did it on this, which is the Danny Mini. Then I did it on the Typhoon BT, which is... Actually, I'm lying. I didn't do it on the Typhoon BT. I did it on this, and then I did it on the Danny. So, I got about 10.8 volts on the pylon. is a very different story. So, die codes is a very, very powerful chip. Now, just because it's 11 volts doesn't mean that a lot of people that like a lot of power are going to like this device. Because it's really designed for people that like higher resistance. 0.7s, 0.8s, 1 ohms. You can even get away with a 0.3 on this. It's just that you're only going to cap out at, well, this is a different story than what the pylon is because that's using the BF60. I've looked on Die Code's website. I've also looked on Creme de Vape. I've also looked on the people that provided this to me, Die Codes USA, which I don't really think they have much affiliation with Die Codes out of Germany. They're just more the distributors here in America. Listen, I know that there are people that have waited a long amount of time. So have I. Like, I've been waiting for a minute for this ever since the Danny Mini, just because this thing is absolutely cute as shit. I cannot figure out what chip is on the inside of this. I know it's not the BF. I know it's not the FL. So it's probably, well, it can't be proprietary because it's made by die codes. Well, I guess it could be proprietary. Like, even when you look on the website, it gives you all the specification, gives you the output power, how much resistance you could use, but there's not really anything saying, listen, this is called the FL480 chip. It's just, it is what it is. And I'm really, 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 really excited about this. And as you can tell, just because, listen, I have waited so long since this to do this. With the mod, they actually gave me this little plastic piece as well. Now, I don't know if I did a review on this specifically or if I did it separately, but basically they make this cool little charger. And I'm not trying to promote die codes. It's just really cool. It's almost like the same thing with the VaporShark RDNA 60. They have a little plate that goes on the back that allows you to use wireless charging. I don't know why more companies have implemented that, but what makes this better badass is if you are into internal charging, you're able to use the little plastic adapters and then that allows you to use different mods. And usually most chips or most boxes that use die codes 
you can get an adapter for. If you don't want to unscrew the battery, I guess that would be the only reason why you would use this. It actually shows you the internal resistance of the battery too, which is pretty badass. So what we're going to be looking at is called the Danny Box 21700. It is no longer called the Danny Box Mini, and I think it... It's not called that because it's not so much a mini anymore. It's using a battery that's two to three more millimeters wider in diameter and five millimeters taller in height. However, when I show you the comparison of the mini versus this, it's close, man. I mean, like they managed to crunch all of this in into this little device. This is manufactured and assembled in Germany. This is going to be fun because we know how much I loved this device. And of course, because this is the predecessor, I will be showing this on a side-by-side -side comparison of the two to really get the idea of how big it is. So without further ado, the Danny Box 21700 by Dicodes. Let's flip it. A Danny Box 21700 color configuration is up here on the corner. The way that I understand it, they only have black and I think blue. They don't have any of the other colors. But there's going to be a lot of different variations. Again, I will show you how this works once I pull it out, but uh, aside from that, there is literally nothing else on this box. Danny Box 21700. Open this up. Here we go. So, now, whenever you get a die codes device, you're typically going to get the metal that is designed for die codes, but it's a temperature control it is not designed for regular wattage or voltage vaping and then right there that is your qr the box mod this may not have the wire well i'll be a monkey's pickle so that's not the situation at all now i wish i had an original die codes to show you a size comparison between that the danny mini and then this but i don't and they do make this in different variations so uh these are a side-by-side -side comparison now i know on the camera it's very hard to get a good depth of field but this isn't that much thicker than what this is and then right there you'll be able to see so essentially stacking them on top of each other let me see if I can zoom out a little bit and then move that. all right there we go so that is the regular 21700 and then this one up here on the top is the 18650 there you go so it is not right there you see so you got probably two more millimeters in width and then as far as 18650 mini is 42 millimeters in depth and then in the 21700 is 45 so it's about three more millimeters wider height's going to be a little bit different just because the batteries are very very different we have 76 i feel like that is probably not accurate so, so yeah negative 30 so you're about 76 millimeters in height on this and then on height of the 21700 version were 82. Five more millimeters in height, three more millimeters in width, and as far as depth is concerned, I really don't want to scratch this up, so I'm just going to go on the top where the metal is, and then there we go. So we got 25 millimeters, 25.22, so 25.2, and then the depth of the Danny Mini is, of course, 24.18 so only one more millimeter in depth very very unique um so the size is very very close to each other i was not expecting that what's the first thing you notice aside from the size difference the size of the screen so this is very very dainty and this is something that i've kind of grown to love guys when i tell you i've used the shit out of this thing i'd be lying to you if i told you i didn't use it at all danny mini loved it now that there's a 21 700 version you better shut the front door and get out of my house we know how much i love die codes so it's like <laughs> i feel like everything i say is gonna be biased okay so basically you have all these different things now i know for a fact that i did do a review on this i just don't know where it is and then this right here has micro usb and of course an adapter and then right here is the danny mini situation on the bottom of it on all die codes you're gonna see a little contact right there that is what's gonna catch on there and then charge it just like that very very simple but the one that came with this well, I, I, I don't want to say it came with it per se. It goes in just like that. And then this has the little metal right there. It goes in just like that. 
How badass is that? The next thing you're gonna notice is even looking at this, you don't see any micro USB and die codes typically does that. That's not saying that you can't get a die codes that has a micro USB in it. The way that they look at it is, listen, we're gonna ship this with the update firmware. They don't do a lot of what DNA does. You know, let's give more profiles, let's do this. All of that is configurable with the buttons. I know that sounds crazy, but the way that it is and i'm really dying to turn this on to see what is really going on as far as what chip is in there because i can't find shit online about it there's not really going to be a lot of flaws on this just because you have two metal blocks on the bottom no scratches on the bottom see this is what i'm talking about look at no scratches anywhere Let's see what a 24 looks like on there Got a little bit of leeway, probably a 25, maybe a 26. 26 millimeter does work, but you do have a little bit of overhang. 25 is gonna be the most optimal to fit on here. Something that die codes has never had that I've ever seen is an actual boost functionality, meaning that this is gonna be 80 watts, love it, but with the 21700, depending on the battery situation, is going to dictate whether or not it can do 100 watts. On a single 21, you guys have to keep in mind, even a DNA 75C does not do that. Let's see what a 25 looks like on there. Yeah, I don't, I don't wanna force that, but 25 will go right to the edge. You do have a, let's check the 510, but that scratch is for me, obviously. Very, very stiff. You just be careful what you put on top of there. And then unscrew this right here. The connection for the bottom, wow, those numbers are very similar. 15, 20, 12, 52. How cool is that? I think this is their first attempt at using a 21700 for a box mod. So I don't know if they make an adapter to use an 18650. I would assume not. So right here, we're gonna screw that in. It does go flush. Very nice. Wow, okay, the screen is very, very different. I'm not gonna lie to you, that, that excites me a lot. Now, let me show you how this works real quick. Very different. Of course, the error is the same, and we will go through the menu of this. It should be typically the same as what this is. They are a little bit easier to navigate than something like the Danny 25, just because of the way that it's designed. Right here, that's going to select, and then what you're gonna do is just press the up button a couple times, power, it's how you adjust it. You can hold it down and it is a little bit slower. It's much quicker if you do it by hand. Once you have it selected, you let it go. Then you can adjust the temp control or power when you're in control. And we're gonna leave it on power just because that's the way that I prefer it with the adjustment. Now, when you're here by default in this screen, you can't press up or down to adjust the power. Something has to be on there. You basically have to go back through the whole functionality here. Now, I'm gonna try to find the section to where we can adjust that it's probably in the extended function. You let that go, you press up, and then there you go. So you got heater menu, mod menu, that's where we're gonna wanna go. And then right here, your lumen is how bright this is. Bring that down to one. Temperature unit, we're gonna put that at Fahrenheit just because I want that more natural. Now, display mode, there are three different ones. Basically, you have post where as soon as you press the fire button, I have to just cycle through this as I do this. So off is basically it's stealth mode. Post, as soon as you press the fire button, it's gonna show on the screen and then remove itself. On continuous, it's gonna continually show it until it times out. Let's flip this from right to left, I much prefer that. Let's go over to the battery. If you set this, you could set this a little bit higher. Basically what that is, the cutoff is how low you're gonna run that battery. You could bring it down all the way to 2.5. I typically like to run to 2.9, maybe 2.8. I know that they do have this a little bit lower, but I don't prefer it that way. Keep in mind that this right here is the battery power of what you have inside, not what it's outputting. Power boost function up to 100 watts, depending on the battery and state of the charge of the battery. So you go over to extended function so it goes up and then you go into mod menu it's a bit of a hassle so you got to cycle all the way through until you see expert mode which is right let that time out now you're back on the main screen one two three you're going to go back over to extended function right here press up and then it's going to cycle back go into heater menu now you have 
your HT protection, your, your time, the power, and then coefficient C, don't worry about that. The power limit is what the limit is set to. It's at 80, you can't really go anything higher than, than 80, it goes to 80 watts, and then that's kind of it. Hit the fire button, and then we cycle back through. So this is what HD protection is. Basically what that's set up for is temp control. And then right here is the whole boost section, what I was just showing you. Now you can set this up to 100 watts, which is what I have, and then the T boost is how long it's going to be set up for that. So let me just go over here real quick. It's, it's a little bit lengthy to get to where you need to go, but we'll go there again, heater menu, and then right here is how long it's going to boost up and then that's what it's going to boost up to. But here's the deal. If you have this set on 30 watts and you have this at 100 watts, that's not going to be optimal. You're going to have to manually configure that every single time. Really what I suggest is you going over back to extended function, you press one and you get into the mod section and then you turn that off because I don't know if there's going to be a huge demand for people that are going to use this with a hundred watt boost, but that's basically what they mean in regards to if this mod can do a hundred watts. It's typically designed for 80 watts, which is where it's at. See, now there is no way to actually show how much power they're using in regards to voltage. But what I want to show you real quick is something to test how much power you're using. 1.32 build at 80 watts. And of course, we're gonna pull up the little jammy here. So we got, we're just gonna do 1.3 at 80 watts. That should be 10.19 volts. So let's hook up the negative on your mark, get set, go. This mod is in fact picking up at a 10.1. Something is wrong with the pylon, but this, it, it's not an FL80. It's, I guess, some type of proprietary that Dicodes is either making new, but got a 11 volt or 10.8 volt. Dicodes Danny 21700. Let's bring it on the top. Dicodes Danny 21700. I didn't want to go too far in detail in showing all the different power. Listen, I made like a 28 minute video. Apparently, the pylon that I have, that is the only BF60 that I have. Everything else I have is either an 80 or an FL60 or an FL80, not a BF. So I think it's a little awkward that that's picking up at like nine ohms and eight ohms and seven ohms. I really have to like rip it apart to fix it, but I was losing a lot of hope. And at, at the same time, I don't really know a lot about the BF series to really judge what the situation is specifically with that device. I would have thought that Limelight would have tested that. Let's move on. The Die Codes Danny Mini 18650 version, although very, very compact, is obviously gonna be less power than what you're gonna be running from a 21700. You get typically 30 to 35% more battery life. And the good thing is this has the same amount of power but the difference of size is negligible. If you're gonna pick one of these up, be prepared to wait. This is not something, well, listen, you may watch this video and find one right now. I could tell you in about five months, not gonna happen. That's what happened with the Danny Mini, is a lot of people saw the review, they're like, oh, I gotta get one, and then you were no longer able to find it. It's not super high-end, like super hard to find, I just don't think that they manufacture a lot of them. And this device with the GT4 on the top of it is absolutely gorgeous. Like, this just looks good. I would have liked this that much more if I didn't have to go through all those different menu functionalities just to get to the wattage boost. However, let me say this. I'm one of those false vapors, meaning that when I vape, for instance, right now, what are we working with? We are 0.86 to 29.5 watts. Now, watch the way that I hit this. I do like a false hit, so to speak. Watch. Now, that's always the way that I vape. It's just kind of like the, the puff and then an inhale. And... That is what I'm used to. Now, if you're running something where you're boosting it, if you're running at 30 watts, you're not gonna want a 100 watt boost. And then if you do, you're only gonna want it for like a millisecond. Don't go crazy with it. But you have to remember to adjust that with every single build or every single wattage that you use. I feel like that would be entirely too tedious. While I understand the reason why they did it to really cater to the people that want that extra bit of power, I don't feel that a lot of people that are gonna buy this, especially in the States, or anybody else that doesn't use temp control is ever going to use that function. It would have been better if they just made this chip put out 100 watts. That would have been pretty badass. A die codes, 
21,700. With 100 watts? Oh, man. Let me put it to you like this. If you already own a Danny Mini, that little jammy I just showed you, 100% I recommend you to pick this up. If I was to rate this device on a 0 to 10, I'd give it a 7.5 to an 8. I probably would go a little bit higher if it was a little bit shorter, maybe 8.5. If it was easier to navigate the menu, which it isn't difficult, there's just a lot of steps that you have to take to get there, would have been super cool. I legitimately, after the BF60, legitimately had the biggest problem. Like, I was only getting the power of... I was only getting about 4.6 to 4.8 volts and then when tested was seven but you saw how the resistance was jumping everywhere i i can't even test that because it's if it's picking up at a 2.0 then a 2.3 then a 8.1 something is fucked up like here let me give you a better example take a look at the screen right now i don't hopefully we could get a focus on that right there right so no matter how many times i hit this right you'll see what are we going to jump? 8.84 to 0.86. Let's see if we get a focus. Here we go. Right? It's not going up by 2, 3 ohms. It's going up by 2 tenths of an ohm, which is, which is fine because it's heating up, it's resistance is jumping, and that's how accurate a die codes is. Now, die codes is really designed for someone with temp control in mind. Anything die codes that I've ever gotten, I've always got their proprietary wire that they really recommend for people to use on temp control. I just don't like vaping that way. I like vaping with watts and a lot of volts. And this is what's gonna give it to you. But this is the same shit that happened with the drone, remember? I told you, listen, if you can find the lost vape drone, to get it. You remember. And then you can't find them anymore. Now, I don't know if more shops have stocked that, but it's gonna be the same thing with this. It's probably still the same thing with the Danny Mini because I know that Bree wanted to get it in pink because they had it in pink and you can never find it. I've seen three of them total ever, that's it. You'll find some Google images, but no one that has one. We know how much I love Smoker Store or the Typhoon Box Mod. Great box, a little bit pricey. This is cheaper and has more power and more battery life. It's a little bit of a better shape to it. I really, really like the Typhoon Box Mod. The only real negatives that I have with this, and typically all die codes, is how intricate those menus are. They're not gonna be designed for someone that just wants to pick it up and just vape. I'm not saying that you can right out of the box, but there's gonna be settings you're gonna wanna change. For instance, the continuous mode. If you have that off, you'll never see how much power you use unless you press the up or down. No matter what I say is gonna seem biased because everybody knows how I feel about die codes. All I'm going to say is that die codes is the chip of my personal choice next to a DNA 75C. BF60s, for whatever reason, for me, I wish I had another one to really test to see if that is a consistent issue. Again, it is possible that the BF60 that I have is just a bad one, just like how you could get bad DNA 75s or bad DNA 60s. Nothing should be picking up at that much of a jump of a resistance with or with anything attached to it. Very, very solid device. And you're gonna have to reach a little deep to pick one of these up. If you are thinking about picking one of these up, I definitely recommend it. If it's something that you've given thought to when you could find it, I still recommend it. If you could find one used, I'd still recommend it. It just has to be in good condition. But all in all, I 100% would recommend you to pick up any of the die codes Danny Mini, the 21700, or the one that's got like the curve. Oh my God, what, steam, steam, steam train? St steam line? Line train? Running rails? I don't remember what it is. It's okay. I don't even know why you would need boost as quick as that ramble time is. It's like instant. And I've got the real. Have you? Jesus.